Hello, so today I'll show you how to create three buttons with Unity UI. A basic one, resizable button with an icon, and a button with front colors and animation. Let's start with a simple rectangle button. Right-click the hierarchy and select UI image. Give it some kind of color and resize it to give it a bit more button size. Then add a button text. To do so, again, right-click on our image object, UI, and select text. To make sure that our text fills the whole button, click on this anchor presets, and while holding Alt or Option key on your keyboard, click on the Stretch Stretch option. Then tweak some settings. Change text to simply button, choose a font, font size, Align it to center in both horizontal and vertical. And finally, a color. In my case, white. Great! Our simple design is now done. To finish things off, I'll just rename image to button. Now time to make it work. Click Add Component and search for button. Return. After adding that component, our button is basically ready. I would suggest to change the highlighted color to something more darker, and to allow us to test it, I'll attach that simple example object and run button click method. Now, when I press play, our button will come to life. That was easy, but now let's move to a bit more advanced stuff. I want to have an icon next to my text, so first I'll duplicate our first button, move it, and change its color to red to make it more distinguishable. Now, let's right-click on the newly created button, select UI and image. That will be our icon. So I click on this source image and select my gamepad icon. Then I'll click set native size and scale it to fit better. Of course, you might say that this button is done but look what happens when I change the text of the button. Icon stays in the same place. To fix this, we need to create a layout group. Click on this button, then add component, and search for horizontal layout group. Apply. Change its settings to have control child size enabled in both axes, and child force expand disabled. Then change child alignment to middle center, and spacing to 12 pixels. As you can see, our icon is now a bit too large and because our layout group is controlling it, we can't change the size. Fortunately, we can override it by adding a new component called layout element and setting preferred width and height. I would also suggest to move the icon to the first position in the hierarchy, that way it shows up before the text. Now, as you can see, our icon falls the size of the text, but the shape of the button does not. If we type something very long, text starts to disappear. We can easily fix that by adding a new component to our button called Content Size Fitter. It resizes the button to perfectly match all the content inside. Simply select Horizontal Fit, Preferred Size and you'll immediately see the difference. You can also add a padding to the left and right side of the button. In my case, I'll type 16. I think our second button is now ready and we can move on to the third one. So, as before, simply duplicate it and change its color. This time, I like to smooth out the corners. Because Unity does not support rounded corners, we need to use an image. I've already covered rounded corners in my different video, and to keep it short, simply download the rounded corners image from the description, import it to assets, click on it, then sprite editor, and adjust these green lines to be exactly in the center. Then apply. Now, when our sprite is ready, we can click on the third button, and change its source image to rounded rectangle. That immediately changes corners of our image, and as you can see, it's all dynamic, so you can change 
button size if you'd like. Next, let's move on to the animation. So far, we used only color thin transition that allows us to apply different colors based on different button states. But because I like my button to change its size on mouse over, I need to change the transition type to animation. Click auto generate, create a new folder called animations, and there create our button animation controller. Great! Now you can open the animation tab and edit all transition states. So how this animation works is that you simply define how objects should look in different states and then Unity automatically creates the smooth transition between them. So in my case the normal state should be the normal size. Press this little record button and set the scale of our game object to 1 in both axes. Then change the state to highlighted again press record button and this time change its size to 1.1 both in X and Y. Actually, if you now press play, you should immediately see how our button is working when the mouse hovers over it. But I think it's a bit too slow. You can easily tweak that by clicking that animator tab, tidy it up a bit and click on that white arrow that goes to the highlighted state. Click Settings and change transition duration to 0.1. Now, zooming in is much quicker, but going back to normal state is still slow, so we can easily change that by clicking on that white arrow going to normal state and changing its transition duration also to 0.1. And these are our three buttons. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you like to be notified about any future Unity UI videos and don't forget to like the video to see more such tutorials. See you in the next video.